How's it going everyone? Zero Kimchi here, your source for Winlater, and I guess now, Game Fusion news and gameplays. It has been a while since I last uploaded a video. I had a really busy and exhausting month because of work. And hopefully I can now go back to my usual uploading schedule. In this video, I will be talking about the latest changes, some news of what is to come to Winlater. No gameplays this time. As you may be aware, it has been really slow for the compatibility layer community. No news from Bruno, except for a small post on GitHub involving some deal with the Winlater glibc developer. According to this, to my understanding, we have pretty much hit a dead end for development in glibc for Winlater. As the original developer seems to have vanished into thin air. But the good news? Bruno seems to be restructuring some parts and other things of Winlater that may result in performance uplift. Sounds promising, doesn't it? On the Winlater Forker side, not much has been worked on. We had Coffin Colors, who was working on a CMOD fork to bring out a new version Alpha 5, which brings a few fixes and additions, along with a new driver wrapper that would allow us to use the system driver. However, this project has come to a pause after Coffin Colors' life has taken a turn into... Well, let's say that it led him to focus more into his real-life situation. Therefore, also vanishing into thin air. Meanwhile, we have another great developer taking the reins to help Coffin Colors improve CMOD. It's Blaster69, who is more involved on the turnip side of things usually. His Blaster69 was able to compile Proton, a customized version of Wine specifically designed for gaming on Linux developed by Valve. Peace Blaster 69 also added Fixcore related settings to complement this compatibility layer on Winlater, which is a huge thing. Now, please take a look at the following clip. That's right! Peace Blaster 69 was able to implement Rena tools for Winlater. Yes. The same Adrenal tools used in Skyline, now Strato, Yuzu, Dolphin, PPSPP, and Vita 3K. And you guessed it, the idea with this implementation is to allow us the use of the proprietary drivers that I have uploaded on my GitHub. Initially, there was an assumption that this would be too limited and not to work well. But after some research and trials, he was able to fix the issue. This is all great news and keeps me optimistic for the future of Winlater. Unfortunately, Peace Blaster 69 has shared that none of this can be released without the help of Coffin Colors. So all we can do is wait for Coffin Colors to regain his health and come back. We are waiting for you, oh great one. Moving on with Purple VK by Mr. Purple. Promptly after his appearance, he dropped a few updates to his turnip drivers for emulators with Adreno tools, along with a version of Winlater called Purple VK, which contains some of his changes that he likes to gatekeep. Winlater residents were quick to compare it to my turnip drivers and found little to no difference. Take it however you want. Next we have my man Ajay, who keeps working on his forks and his great prefix mod. He has released a new fork based off Long Jun Yu's 7.1.5 GLBC Winlater, but modded with the ability to use the new Box32 by Petit Sep. This Winlater allows you to disable WoW64 mode so that you can use Box32 features. Apparently some OpenGL games now work with higher performance. It also contains a myriad of fixes, but with a few caveats. The XVK will not work while using Box32 mode, and some keyboard inputs are swapped. Afe has also been active recently. He has released Ammo 3 based off Bruno's Winlater 9.0. It comes with a slew of changes to improve your usability experience. I have dropped the link to each Winlater fork I have just talked about in the description below. As for Game Fusion, 
there's not much to talk about except for the fact that uh, they launched an update recently 2.0.6 that offers several fixes and the addition of limiting the vram that's about it one more thing after some new changes to box 64 a week or two ago assassin's creed origins boots on wii later now but for it to be playable requires a powerful device such as HN3 and up. And lastly, with Square Enix removing Denuvo from Visions of Mana, the game is playable on day one. Expect a gameplay clip with their respective settings on the next video. And that's it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Feel free to recommend a game for testing. Make sure to like, share and subscribe if you like this video. See you next time.